Hello everyone, my name is Adiemi Uluwa Demladi Debra, the creator of Compass 7.0, and we're going to be continuing our series on MacBook with a very fundamental topic titled Map Scale. And this topic is basically the foundation of map work, but a number of students still make mistakes as a result of not understanding or confusing key concepts. So with that, let's get on to the video. Starting with the definition, map scale is the relationship between the measurements on the map and the actual measurements on the ground. And this is just a picture representation of it. Two centimeters on the map, to one kilometers on the ground. Now, the different types of maps, statement scale, linear scale, and representative fraction. You may be familiar with some of these words, while others may look a bit strange, but everything will be explained as we progress. Now, a statement scale. Some people may think that this map just includes only words, but don't let the name fool you and make you think so. Statement scale also includes numbers. We can see it in these three forms. These are just examples. One centimeter represents two kilometers. One centimeter represents one kilometer. One centimeter to one kilometer. Even though it sounds the same when I'm saying it, but in written form, you can see the difference in them. So now I want you guys to try and guess which of them represents the map distance and which one represents the actual distance on the ground. But I'm sure the represents gave it away. So it's always in the form of map distance to ground distance. So the first one is the map distance, while the second one is the ground distance. You hardly see these formats at the bottom of your given maps, either in your practicals or objectives. But they'll most likely be seen when you're asked to convert from one scale to another. That is in your OBG. Now the next type of map. A linear or a bar scale. This scale provides a visual representation as we have a line divided into equal parts showing us the relationship. So the word linear just means a straight line and that's how you see it in your objectives. It won't be as beautiful as the map I've given you here sadly. But the one in your practicals looks promising. Again, the looks don't matter. This is an example of a linear scale. We have the primary division, that's the part after the zero, and the secondary division. So the primary division is the only one you need to be concerned about at this stage. So just ignore everything you see before the zero, the fractions, the numbers, no. You only need to focus on the primary division. And even in your examples or the ones in your exams, you are not going to see the secondary parts. You may only see that in your practical, the big map you are giving in practicals. But even still, you don't need to focus on the secondary division. Now let's look at some examples. I apologize in case the numbers may not be clear for some people, but I'm going to zoom in. And now one important aspect of this linear bar scale is that you always need to measure the intervals between the numbers. So as you can see here, this is the secondary division, the parts before the zero, and here all the parts after the zero are the primary divisions, the part that we need to focus on. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to say that each of these, the interval between here is one centimeter. But in exam, always measure. Do not assume, please. So now focusing on the parts after the zero, we can see the difference in the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And take note of the units at the end, even though it's, most, it's almost always going to be in kilometers, but still take note. You can never be too sure. So since the interval between the boxes is one centimeter and the numbers are moving in terms of one we can say that this is a map of one centimeter to one kilometer one centimeter is representing one kilometer one centimeter to one kilometer and this is a form of statement scale if you remember what we just did not too long ago now the next question again focusing on only the part after the zero it's still the same space, the same distance as the one above, so we're still going to say one centimeter. But now notice that the numbers are moving in twos, zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10. 
So because the distance between the boxes is one centimeter, the numbers are moving in terms of two, this map is going to be two centimeters to represent one kilometer. So looking at the map, the distance between the boxes is one centimeter, and the numbers are moving in terms of two, two, four, six, eight, ten. This map is going to be one centimeter to two kilometers. So one centimeter is represented by two kilometers. One centimeter to two kilometers. And now for the last question, I want us to take notes. Here I didn't even put, I didn't bother putting the secondary division part. I only focused on the primary division. I want us to take note that the distance between here and here is completely different from this one. We could say that it's twice the distance. And so let's take a close look at the numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the numbers are increasing in terms of 4, in terms of 1, sorry. But now the distance is much larger than this 1 centimeter. So we're going to say that it's 2 centimeters. But again, please always measure. This cannot be overemphasized. Always measure in your exams. In your exams, it's always going to be just 1 centimeter or 2 centimeters. But please measure. Don't just assume that this looks like 1 centimeter. Don't take that chance. So the distance between the number between the boxes is two centimeters, and the numbers are moving in terms of one. So we are going to say this is two centimeters to represent one kilometer. Two centimeters to represent one kilometer. So now let's move on to the third type of scale representative fraction, or it can be just shortened as RF. In this scale, the relationship between the map and the actual distance is represented with a fraction or a ratio. 1 ratio 100,000. So this is the scale you always see under your practical maps along with a bar or linear map. So a representative fraction is always represented with a ratio or a fraction. I personally haven't seen this scale being written as a fraction in terms of the numerator on top and the denominator under. In any, in most of your exams, you're always going to see it written as a ratio with a colon. So back to a previous slide. In representative fraction, the first number is always going to represent the map distance, and it is always one. It's never going to be another number. So if you, by any chance, see it in an objective question that what is the map scale of this map, or what is the scale of this map in terms of representative fraction, and you see this number is something other than one, then that's wrong. It's always one. But the second number, the one after the colon, represents the ground distance or the actual distance. And this number varies. You could see 1 ratio 100,000, 1 ratio 200,000, 1 ratio 50,000. This number changes. But the one before the colon, the map distance is always 1. Now, in a representative fraction, both of the numbers are always in the same units. Some people may not know it, or some don't just take notice, but they are always in the same unit, which is mostly centimeters. But since it's a ratio or a fraction, the numbers always, the units, sorry, always cancel out. So that's why in your practicals or wherever you see it written, under your mapping practicals, you don't just, they don't write one centimeter ratio, 100,000 centimeters, no, because the units cancel out. Now, this is where the application of our knowledge so far comes into play and also where exam questions are going to be from. Since the best way to learn is through practice, I'm going to explain this subtopic with the help of examples. For our first example, one centimeter to one kilometer. So I'm going to be converting this. This is already in statement scale. So I'm going to be converting this to a bar scale or linear scale and a representative fraction. So one centimeter to one kilometer. First, let's take this to representative fraction. Then from there, drawing the bar scale won't be too difficult. Now, one thing we should always note is this, that one kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters. So when you get to the exam, you don't need to start doing your calculation 10 centimeter makes this and that. No, just know that one kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters. 
So one centimeter to 100,000 centimeters respectively. Since we know that one kilometer is 100,000 centimeters. So one centimeter to one kilometer can also be written as this. And this is like the representative fraction that I showed you before. That since they are the same units, the centimeters can cancel out. So we can now decide to make our first one, the map scale, which is always one, then one ratio 100,000. It can also be written as this. So you can first write it in fraction, then convert it to ratio. That's easier to do that, but whichever one works for you. So one over 100,000 is also equals to one ratio 100,000. And with that, we have it in representative fraction. And now to draw the linear scale won't be too difficult. And this is the way you are going to see it in your objectives most of the time, not as beautiful as I showed you before. It looks more like a number line, if you will. So, and the space in between is one centimeter. Remember I told you to always measure, never assume. The space between them is one centimeter and the interval is one, kilo, the interval between them is one, one kilometer. And also make sure, make, take notes of your units at the end. So now we have it at the beginning in statement scale, one centimeter to one kilometer in representative fraction, one ratio 100,000 and in linear scale. So now putting all these together, we have this statement linear representative fraction. I'm sure this example was easy. Let's move on to the next one. One centimeter to two kilometers. So remember what I told you before, one kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters. And henceforth, if one kilometer is 100,000 centimeters, then two kilometers will be 200,000 centimeters. Writing it as a fraction and then in ratio form, one over 200,000 or one ratio 200,000. Then since it's one centimeter to two kilometers, that means the interval between our line in our linear graph is still going to be one centimeter, but it's going to be in multiples of two now, giving us this. Interval of one centimeter between them, but the numbers are moving in twos. And now to put this all in summary, we have our statement scale, one centimeter to two kilometers, our linear scale in intervals of two, but one centimeter space between them, and a representative fraction, one which is 200,000. Now I'm sure the former ones were easier because our map scale was always one centimeter. Now let's switch things up. Two centimeters to one kilometer. So now two centimeters to one kilometer, the starting um, equation, one kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters. So we can now write that as two centimeters to 100,000 centimeters. Moving this to representative fraction. So now we have it as two over 100,000. And we can also divide and giving us one over 50,000, which is also equals to one ratio 50,000. So somebody that won't divide will get their answer as two ratio 100,000. But remember I told you that for representative fraction, the first number, the one before the colon, which is the map distance is always one. So you have to make sure that this, your first number is always one. And since we can easily divide this without any, uh, without giving us any decimals, even though you always be giving whole, whole number most of the time, one ratio 50,000 easily comes out. And now we have our representative fraction. For those that could have good memories, they will know that we've done this before when I was explaining bar scale. And so we have a bar scale as this. You can see that the difference between them is two centimeters. It's not small like the previous one. It's, it's a bit wider. So if you take, if you measure this in your exams, you can see that this is two centimeters, but the interval between the numbers is still one. So we have two centimeters to one kilometer. So two centimeters to one kilometer can also be written as one centimeter to 0 0.5 or half a kilometer. This is just writing it so that we can have our statement scale also as one centimeter to something. But two centimeters to one kilometer is perfectly correct since it's a statement scale. But if it was a map scale, two 
ratio 100,000 centimeters won't be accurate. One ratio 50,000 is better. So always try to break it down, making our first one, making our first number before the colon one. To you guys to note something. Some may find this shocking, but one centimeter to one kilometer is actually larger than one centimeter to two kilometers. Some people may find this a bit confusing, but this is going to be explained when we start talking about map reduction and map enlargement. It will make it things much clearer. And with that, we come to the end of the first part of this video on map skill. In the next video, we're basically going to be treating past questions on this topic from Waik and Neko to better improve your understanding. So stay tuned.